Hey kids, Assalamu alaikum. Hope you're all fit and fine. It's me, your Astro ma'am, and welcome back to the SST class part 2nd. In our previous session, we have started with our new chapter that is the world from 1914 to 1945. So, children, let's see the topics that we have covered in our previous session. First World War and causes of it. I hope you have gone through part 1 of this chapter and the content is clear to you. So, let's move ahead. In today's class, we will discuss about how the First World War was fought and how did it came to end. So, let's get started. How the First World War was fought. My dear students, do you remember that in our previous lecture, I said due to the chain of alliances, 135 countries opened war on each other. Before discussing about how the war was fought, we will see how these countries got involved in this war. See, soon after the death of Archduke Franz Ferdinand and his wife, Austria-Hungary declared war on Serbia. As I already said, Russia had made an alliance with Serbia that they will protect them during war crisis. So, my dear students, Russia opened war on Austria-Hungary. Similarly, Germany and Italy have made alliance with Austria-Hungary, which I had told you in my previous lecture that it was called as Triple Alliance. So, both Italy and Germany had to declare war on Serbia and Russia, but only Germany opened war on these two nations and Italy remained neutral. My dear students, we also discussed about alliance between France, Russia and Britain, which was called as Triple Entente. So, obviously, France and Britain will open war on Germany and Austria-Hungary to protect or help Russia. Our country, India, was then ruled by Britain. So, our soldiers were helpless and they fought the war in the sight of Britain. Also, India thought that after the war, Britain would grant her self-government. So, Indian soldiers fought this war in Europe, Africa and in West Asia. My dear students, now the question arises here that how United States of America, USA, yes, got involved in this war. As such, there was no alliance made by them to these countries. So, let's discuss it. USC was sending, or I can see, exporting arms, submarines, and different weapons to Britain and France, which made Germany helpless. They were gaining their economy. Germany, on the other hand, thought that it's very difficult to declare war against USC. So, they took help from neighboring country Mexico so that they will open war on USA. This coded message reached to USA. So, they declared war against Germany by sending more arms, weapons, navy weapons to France and Britain. 
my dear students now we will move to our core topic in which we will discuss how this war was fought and what were the arms used in europe battle took place from the french belgium side also known as the western front and along the russian side also known as eastern front soldiers dug tunnels in the ground also called as trenches so that they could hide themselves in it and fire from there machines guns and heavy artillery were used extensively tanks and poison gases which were used for the first time in the world history german submarines also called as u boats destroyed many ships of allied powers like france britain etc my dear students nearly 15 million people died during the first world war and about 20 million people were injured let's see the percentage wise deaths first central powers austria hungary 35% germany 52% ottoman empire 10% let's see the death percentage of allied powers british empire 16% italy 22 sorry 12% serbia 8% romania 6% russian empire 30% and france 25% and so germany surrenders and signed the armistice which resulted in the victory of allied powers my dear students this is how the first world war was fought and came to end now let's discuss the last topic of this lecture that is when did the war end the first world war marked its end on 11th of november 1918 following the victory of allied powers and defeat of central powers so that is it for today's session in our next class we will discuss about the interwar years second world war causes of war till then stay safe stay blessed fiamanella